Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a faux window card. Um, I really haven't been crafting a lot lately. I have been really, really busy with school and work and everything else like that. And you're probably saying, well, school is out. How are you busy? I've been taking like four summer classes and I've been working nearly 30 hours a week. So it's pretty intense right now for me. But I do have some time before work today, so I'm going to show you how to do the faux window card. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is take a piece of adhesive paper like this. It can be any pattern that you want. I'm going to use the picnic pattern that we used in a separate tutorial. If you remember, we used this paper in our flowers in a base card. So you're just going to put it on just like that to your piece of paper. And then you're going to take your cutter and you're just going to cut uh, the part off that is sticking out if there is any. There shouldn't be, but if it's off a little bit, which it was for my card, then you can just, you know, cut that off with a cutter with a blade. And don't worry if you make a slight error because you're not going to be using this whole piece of cardstock anyway. The purpose to apply the full adhesive piece is to give you more options of what you can use for your square, if that makes sense. So we have our paper cut to the right size. Now we're just going to cut the bottom part off. I like to use my cutter rather than my scissors, mostly because I need practice as to how to use the cutter, and also because I just bought a new cutting mat, and I wanted to test it out. So, today I am using my blade rather than my scissors. And like I said, it doesn't matter if you're not completely straight because, you know, we're not using the whole piece. So you can just do how you want to do it and then it should come out like this. Just a square piece, the white backing on it. Okay, so now we're going to stamp an image onto our piece of, um, adhesive paper that we've adhered. I'm going to use this one because I love this stamp. I think it's really cute. So we're just going to take our stays on ink, which is my favorite ink to use. And we're just going to stamp it heavily so it looks like this. Completely uniform and covered. Then you're just going to pick an area and stamp. That is perfect. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty perfect. I like it. Okay, so now we have our image, and you're just going to glue your paper um, onto a piece of cardboard or heavier cardstock. So I'm going to get a glue stick. Because this is regular paper, I just am going to glue it with, a, you know, a cheap glue stick because you really don't have to worry about 
how it turns out because this is not what is going to be on your card. And I also like to work with bigger pieces that we're not using because if I'm in a hurry and I want to make this card again, I already have the piece of cardstock already and prepared. So then I can just stamp it, cut it out, and I'm good to go. So this is kind of preparatory for another possible card. So after your back is heavily saturated with your glue stick, you're just going to find an area of the cardboard or cardstock, whichever you chose, and you're just going to glue that piece on. And try to be careful about your stamped image because you want to make sure that you're not going to ruin all your hard work of that stamped image that you've done. Okay, so now we have it all glued and ready to go. i show you. It's just glued like that onto the cardboard. And now we're just going to cut out the area that we want for our card. For this part of it, I'm going to be using scissors. And I'm just going to cut out a square of the paper. we have our perfect little square that we're going to be putting on our card. And it's reinforced, so now we are ready to put our card together. This part is kind of important, not the most important step, but the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold our piece of cardstock. You can fold it either the, um, you can fold it this way, which is the hot dog way, or you can fold it this way. It really doesn't matter with the 8x8, eight eight, because the 8x8 eight eight is pretty much the same both sides, no matter what way you fold it. So I'm just going to make sure that it's lined up correctly. I don't have a gold folder and just crease it like this. And you can make, you know, changes to it if it doesn't fold correctly when you're making it. So it should look like this. Now you can do it either way. You can fold it and have the card open like this. Or you can have it go the long way like this. I think with a window card, a full window card, it would be better with um, the long way, but you can do it either way. And we're just going to take it and we're going to do glue dots so it looks three dimensional. you want to make sure that you use really big glue dots. You don't want the small ones. Because the whole idea behind this is to add body to the card. Or to the, um, the piece. So you're going to take your stamped little embellishment that we made. And you're just going to put a whole bunch of glue dots on the back. Now 
now that we have that all set, you can see it uh, like this. It's all glued on the back. We're just going to adhere that right to the center of our card. And that is your basic faux window card. If you have any further questions or you want to see the finished product of this card, please check my page for more videos or go to any of my subscriptions for inspirational ideas and tips. Thanks guys!